Start by creating a blank logo canvas and once it's open, you're going to add text to your page. So you could either press T or click on the text button on your left hand side. Change your text font and make it a round kind of a font. I've used the CS Gordon rounded, but it's on Pro so you could find another rounded kind of text that you could use. And then you could change your text and call it an O. Make the size of your O 150. And then change the color and make it a nice bright color so let's make it 150 and make a nice bright pink for our O then you're going to go to your elements you click on see all and you scroll down and you find this rounded kind of a shape that's called solid curl shape and you click on it once and you are going to use this curl to have it over and create an interlock for your design. So we're going to change the color of that curl and call it white and bring it forward so that we can start creating that interlock. Just be careful that it doesn't overlap on your O. Once you're happy and you're done with that, you just copy your O, put it on the side, change it to a C, change color and make a nice bright yellow. And then copy your curl, move that over to the C so that it curls over and creates a gap for your O. So what you could do just to see what you're busy doing is move it in such a way that it goes and it aligns with your O. Then you know that when you put it over on your C, it's going to be nicely interlocking the exact way that you want it to interlock. And you can change color and make that white. So in order for you to check yourself, you can create a copy and just see if it's going to go in nicely over there like that then you know that you're happy and you can do exactly the same with the O just copy it and move it over so that you see that it's going to go in nicely and interlock the way that you want it to interlock like that once you're done with step number one you're going to download this as a transparent background and you're going to use remove.bg if you don't have the transparent background and then we're going to create a blank page too and we're going to upload our design and it has that whiteness in there so if you use remove.bg probably won't be there but on canva you're just gonna um, remove the background and it takes away the whiteness and you click on apply then you crop the extra space. Then you're going to size it, make it nice and big, whatever size that you want. Then you're going to duplicate this and have a duplicate copy because you're going to then crop the C out of your design. You're going to crop the O out of the design. And then you're going to ever so gently align them and then have them overlapping each other. Like that. You're going to have to play around with it until you're happy with your gaps and the sizes that are there. All you do now is group your design and then you size it nicely to the size that you want. And then you're going to add, if there's a tagline, you're going to add a tagline and have a nice pretty logo over this and that's pretty much your design then you're going to download it as a transparent background and you're going to jump in on photo p and you're going to then create your 3d logo and open photo p.com then we're going to use PSD templates. You're going to click on PSD templates and you're going to open mockups. 
with your mockups you're going to scroll down and we're going to be using this modern 3d logo mockup so you click and you open it and you open photop.com hashtag that number once it has loaded you're going to double click where it says your logo here and you're going to hide the text by clicking on the eye then you click and you drag your design that you just made from canva size it and you align it so that it's nicely aligned you click on file save as smart object and then you click on the 3d logo mockup once and you wait and your design is created with your tagline then when you are happy you're going to click on file export as png or whichever format you want to export it as and you would reduce the width so that it doesn't pixelate a lot make it a 700 or even smaller and then you click on save and there's your 3d logo created on canva without using the remove brush and i do have a course that teaches you full on canva it's like it has 50 videos that we've created just for you so head over to our website learnwithzart.com and go register and learn more about Kamla. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you on the next video.